I see the boys of summer in their ruin lay the gold tithings barren, setting no store by harvest, freeze the soils. There in their heat Ten poems emerged because I went into my local uh, music shop. It's called Raves from the Grave, and you can get anything there. And on the counter was this picture of a young Richard Burton. He was reciting Dylan Thomas poetry. And I bought it for nostalgic reasons, really. I wanted to hear his voice again. It's such a beautiful voice. We are the dark deniers. Let us summon death from a summer woman. And as soon as I started listening to the poems, what hit me first, before the meaning of the poetry, was the musicality, the phrasing, the rhythm of it. There in his night the black-tongued bells, the sleepy man of winter pulls. So my first idea was to use the sound of this voice as a kind of musical accompaniment to a dance. At first I thought I would incorporate music into the structure, but in the end it wasn't necessary. I, I didn't use any sound. Worm on Davy's lamp, and from the planted womb, the man of straw. I think what I enjoy about working as a choreographer, and what keeps me going, even at this late age, is the magical moments in the studio. What we create together, the dancers and myself, the collaboration of all these uh, elements, all these people pulling in the same direction, hopefully. Or maybe sometimes contradicting and, and you having to battle it out. It's not always smooth and easy, the, the journey to making a, a piece of dance. But I, I love those moments of what I call alchemy in the, in the studio, working with the dancers. What comes from them? What does come from them? I often sort of weave into the fabric of the dance. So I never feel my ballets are mine alone. I feel they were made with my dancers and that there's something of the original dancers that made the roles in the first place. And then when I work with another cast, I, I, I allow myself to be influenced by uh, a new group of dancers and elements of their personalities or the way they move will seep into the work. So it's a little different every time. It's like if you take uh, one of Shakespeare's plays, put a new cast on, different personalities, different voices, different phrases, it'll be a little different. But that's what is magical, working in the studio, in those moments that are so transient. You know, as soon as the rehearsal is over, basically, it doesn't exist anymore. You capture it on, on the, for the screen, but it's still not the same thing as the live art. And, and that's what keeps me going back into the studio and exercising and making this whole body work so that I can still enjoy those moments. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage.